Right off the bat, how did you get involved in the project? So um, my manager, Mark Schulman, and I met with uh, uh, the creators of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Dan Gore and Luke Del Tradici. And uh, and we, we we had this meeting about, you know, get working together. Dan and Luke went off and uh, and came back with these three ideas. This was one of them. And it just uh, it just rung out for some reason. We we all were like, yeah, yeah, this is the one. Let's uh, let's go forward. So the premise of the show is that Craig is pursuing the American dream. He's an underdog. What is the American dream in 2022? Uh, uh, make sure you have enough toilet paper. I think, <laughs> you know, and uh, enough food store. I think we've all seen that. That the well, we know that the world can actually stop. Uh, yeah, you just you make sure you got the essentials, the basics. So, Craig, it, obviously, we see him develop into snake hunting, which is not something that we normally hear about. Is there a correlation between the pursuit of the American dream and the idea that Craig is using snake hunting to get to it? Yes, the correlation is that he will uh, uh, do anything to achieve that dream, including snake hunting. And that's just a, you know, that's, that's a huge extreme, you know, but it's like he sees an opportunity and he seizes that opportunity. So what's the craziest thing that you ever did to make money in your life? Whoa, wait a minute. Um, I mean, I was a school teacher. <laughs> I taught K through eighth grade music. That was pretty crazy. The About student, two and a half you years. Your favorite teacher, I'm sure. <laughs> I might I might have been a couple of people's favorites. And I'm sure it was a couple of pe people's not. But uh uh, you know, that was a, an amazing experience. I love the kids, you know, and I, it's it's funny having social media because they'll someone will reach out and say, hey, Mr. Robinson, I was your student in fourth grade. And, you know, it's inspiring to see you. And I always say the same thing. Hey, I'm not your teacher anymore. Please don't contact me. But um, <laughs> I'm kidding. It, this, but they do reach out. It's nice. Why was it that the craziest thing that you ever did, though? Do you think it was crazy because you never pictured yourself sharing your gift with children, or you uh, you being responsible for people's children? It's it's it's, it's just such a, a whole nother life ago, you know. And when I think about me going on the road doing comedy and and you know being in this, it was and and, uh, and the uh, the uh, responsibilities that come with teaching, and, and it's just it's I, I'm. It's hard to believe I was there, but I was. So Craig has a family in this and he's trying to work through his dreams and stay connected with them. What has it been like connecting with this cast on this project? It's been uh, wonderful. Everybody is, uh, you know, giving and genuine and, and getting to know. Uh, and, you know, and we were in New Orleans, so there was uh, opportunities to, uh, to go to dinners and, and you know, uh, Rail and I would run around and do the comedy spots. Um, so it was, it's, it's just been great. And even, you know, being the, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the main character, you know, I would call uh, for, on rehearsals and everybody was like, you know, uh, and these, these are outside. These are, I just wanted us to, to be tight and right, you know. So uh, they would be all about it and, and people wanted rehearsal. It, it was just, it's it just great. I can't say enough about, uh, uh, you know, the love we shared and uh, 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 getting this project together. So in most of the projects that you participate in, you end up being a fan favorite. As you mentioned, you're the lead in this one. So what has it been like for you taking that position, as you said, you know, being responsible for doing cast dinners, you're also an executive producer. How, what is that experience like, as opposed to something where you maybe aren't as responsible for all of the output of things happening? I've been uh, uh, trained for, for this moment Be between watching uh, Steve Carell or when I, I did a Curb and, you know, saw Larry David or when I did Bernie Mac show and just, uh, you know, seeing how, how the lead, the lead is, you know, about that business, kind to everyone and being able to, you know, go where you need to go and always being prepared. So 
it's it feels like I, you know I've always watched and been like, hey, if I ever get the shot, this this is what it is, you know. It's um so I almost feel you know I feel like I've been you know, getting ready for this moment. So what's the one boss thing that you did that you got the opportunity to do while shooting this show that you always have kind of wanted to do? Like, yeah, when it's my turn, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's uh, let me see. I, I probably call a rehearsal. <laughs> you know, hey everybody, let's uh, let's get on Zoom. And that was that wasn't even a boss move. It was just like a, if you're not if you're available, can we do? You know. So uh, I don't think it was any flexing going on. Uh, I, I can't, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Not disappointing at all. So I'm wrapping up. What can the audience look forward to when they're checking out Killing It? Absurd. Uh, they can see some heart, they see a lot of comedy. Uh, I think they're gonna be surprised by some of the dark things that happen. And, um, you know, just uh, go along for the ride. Enjoy it. Hope you love it. And if you don't, hope you watch it anyway.